Let's create this TikTok-like slider in Webflow. So first we'll add a div, we'll call it TikFlow Wrapper. I'm gonna display it flex and then center, center it. Width is gonna be 100 viewport width and height is gonna be 100 SVH. The S is important for sizing purposes. Inside of that, we'll add the slider element, call it TikFlow Slider. The width is gonna be SVH and the height is gonna be 100 viewport width. Yes, that is backwards, and I'll tell you why in just a second here. Next, we're gonna go down to the transforms. We're gonna give it a rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis. It might look a little wonky, but that's okay. Inside the first slide, we're gonna add another div. We'll call it tick flow slide. And for this element, we'll display it flex, center, center, 100% width and 100% height. Inside of that element, we'll add a tick flow slide content div. We'll display it flex, center, center. The height is gonna be 100 SVH, and the minimum width is gonna be 100 viewport width. It's very important to get the width and height correct in all of these elements, or it's probably not gonna work correctly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a transform to this element. It'll be negative 90 degrees on the Z axis. So basically what we've done is on the TickFlow slider wrapper, in order to make it vertical, we added a 90 degree rotation. To undo that rotation, but keep the verticalness of the slider, we added a negative 90 degrees to the tick flow slide content div, and that basically undid that rotation. Now it should look normal, but the slider should be vertical rather than horizontal as it usually is. Now inside of the tick flow slide content div, we're gonna add another one, and we'll call it tick flow aspect ratio. The height's gonna be 100 SVH, and the minimum width is gonna be 100 viewport width. We'll add a ratio, and the ratio of normal YouTube videos is 16 by 9, and because TikTok is vertical, it's the opposite of that, so it's 9 by 16. And now inside of that div, we can add our video or whatever content we want to add to style it. So for this example, I added a Webflow background video. In your case, you may wanna host your videos elsewhere so that you can get sound, so you could use Amazon Web Servers, you could even use Dropbox, even though it's not really meant for that. You can pick your own hosting service for your videos, but for this example, I just added a background video to keep it simple. I called my div TickFlow Video, width of 100% and height of 100% as well, and then positioned to absolute and full. And then I added my video. I'll leave the next part up to you. You can style it however you wish. What I did was I added a few of those buttons on the right side. I added an interaction when you click the heart button, a profile button, and then also a nav bar up top. This next part's very important. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our navigation buttons, but first we have to add IDs to those. So for our previous button, we're gonna add an ID of prev-slide. And then for our next button, we're gonna add an ID of next-slide. And now we can add the code that's actually gonna bring this all together. The code is super important because without the code, the slider is gonna be useless. So I'm not gonna walk through line by line what every piece of this code means, but I'll just run through it really quickly. The first part of it allows us to go to the next and previous slides based on our scroll wheel on desktop and swiping gestures on mobile. You can tweak this code to adjust the sensitivity to your liking. I also added a one second timeout to stop it from scrolling past slides. And then finally Hammer.js was added for mobile devices so that you couldn't accidentally refresh the page when you swipe down and so that it fit the viewport height perfectly. So don't forget to add the Hammer.js script to the head tag as well. And if you're having any trouble with this or it's not working correctly, you can reference the clonable or just clone it yourself. Hopefully this video is helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.